and welcome to Chair Interval Training, brought to you by Community Access Yellow Springs, the Yellow Springs Senior Center, and me, Lynn Hardman, Silver Sneakers and Flex Instructor. I picked you some fresh dahlia flowers today. Hope you're ready and safe at home to join me. Um, if you're not ready, it's a good time to get ready. So, all you'll need is a sturdy chair, some water. Today we're going to use our rubber band and a hand weight. If you don't have a hand weight, any jug full of liquid with a handle and a lid that's screwed on tightly will do. And uh, welcome. I'm trying a new angle. <laughs> All right. Uh, before you start this exercise program, remember, consult your physician for this or any new exercise program. If it's something you've been doing for a while and you feel fine, you're good. Now, at any time you don't feel fine, then you're not good. It's recommended if you're dizzy or you feel out of balance or just not right to remain in your sturdy chair or return to your chair and get help as soon as possible. Thank you. Let's start some music. Oops, it's upside down. All right. I've got some fun music. At least I think it's fun. If you don't like it, you can give me a call or email me and let me know. <laughs> All right. Let's try that again. There we go. Now, everybody get up. If you like, you can remain seated the whole time, but just move to the best of your abilities and within a safe zone. So what's a safe zone that will give you the benefits of exercise? If we talk about a scale from 1 to 10, a 10 would be way too hard. You can't even talk. A 1 would be probably not enough, <laughs> practically falling asleep. So we're going we're gonna to aim for a target of a 4 to a 7, perhaps 8, where we feel good while exercising and we can continue. Because this is a 60 minute class, so do your best. And if you ever need to, take a rest. Whether you're seated or standing, it's always good to use your best posture with your ears over your shoulders, over your hips. And let your arms swing. When we sit or stand tall, it makes our movements easier and it makes our breathing easier too. That's a good thing. All right. Let's warm up. If you stay behind your chair or next to it the whole time, you'll have a safe way to check your balance. So keep it in your peripheral vision. Be able to touch it. And let's just take our bodies and broaden out our stance and rock side to side. Pull up your shoulder. It's good to be safe at home and have some space. I've had a little time, and so I started working with the help of my wonderful partner on our space, our home, and I'm pleased. I'm also very pleased I could share it with you, and I'm very grateful to the Community Access Yellow Springs Station. And Susan Gartner, where are you, Susan? Hey, thank you for the use of this wonderful camera. And thank you to Sean Devine, who puts the show together and makes it look a little more professional. Thank you. Let's open and close our chest. Did you know having an attitude of gratitude is really good for your body, mind, and spirit? It's been documented. So think of something you're thankful for today. I'm very thankful for this opportunity and for my beautiful flowers. <laughs> All right, we've got our shoulders and hips warmed up a little bit. Feeling good? Now that's a blessing. I'm thankful for that too. Let's preview a couple patterns we're going to do today. We always work on the ABCs. 
agility, balance, coordination, and strength. But here is an agility pattern. You might want to be behind your chair. I'm going to sneak out in front so you can see what I'm doing with my feet. Would you stay behind the chair? We've done this pattern before. It's called a cha-cha-cha. Slow to the right and step two, three. Slow to the left and step two, three. We can do it slow both ways. And we can do it a little bit faster for agility. Out and cha-cha-cha. Put your weight in bull's feet. Warm it up. Good. Now, if we got rid of the cha-cha-cha, we'd be able to step out even faster. Are you ready? Let's try it. Step, step. Put your weight in it. It almost feels like I'm stepping on something over here, something over there. Whew. All right, I'm getting warm. I think we'll come over here to the left. And I want to preview another pattern that we'll do for balance. We've done this plenty of times. Actually, I think I need to be out in front so you can, again, see better. But I want you behind your chair, please. This one's called skate and fly. We'll do it slow. Skate and fly. Good. Skate and fly. Slow one more time. Now to tempo. Skate, fly. We can do two each side, or two of each, or we can do four, four, three, two, fly, four, three, we even will do more things with that, we might try eight of each, we might try cutting it down to four, and then two, and then one, but I feel like I am ready to continue warming up warming up in my chair so as you transition to your chair so we can do some seated dynamic stretches make sure your feet are lined up really close to if not touching the chair and that way you know should your knee or your hip buckle you'll land safely in your seat because we don't want to fall this is the whole point of this program is to help reduce the risk of falls um, it doesn't mean that we can't, but we're going to do our best to avoid that. And should we have to fall, we're going to try to get low to the ground and turn into a little ball and present some flat, broad surface to the ground and tuck our chin so we don't hurt our head. Yeah, sometimes it's good to be like a kid and practice. <laughs> All right. I'm already thirsty, so if you're thirsty or you need anything down low, step to the side, lean to the side, grab a sip of water. Ooh. All right, sitting tall helps our posture and it helps our movement and our breathing. So from here, tuck your shoulders Oh, let's pull them up to our earlobes and back and down in our back pockets and keep them tucked in and walk your feet out wide and in narrow. Wide and narrow. Just tap your toes out and in and do some little jazz hands or funky chicken. And just articulate through your elbows, your knees, and pick your toes up. Good. Also wiggling a little through those hips. Walk those feet out again, and let's get a stretch here. Now that shoulder blade that was in the back pocket, let's bring it to the front. Breathe. Let's try that other shoulder, bringing it into the front pocket. And we're just gently guiding our knees open. Ooh, that feels good. Walk your feet in. And let's sit tall again. Buckle up our safety belt or brace with our abdominals. And stretch our right leg out. And then our left. 
Now, if you can, contract or squeeze those long, strong quadriceps and push the opposite arm. We worked on agility, we worked on balance. Now this is an example of coordination. Let's try a little flex point flex. You ready? Flex point flex. I hope this works. The lighting, I mean, and the angles of the camera and whatnot. I'm trusting you'll let me know. <laughs> because I think this is going to be my favorite studio thus far. Let's take a moment to stretch that right leg out. Brace on top of this left lap. Brace with your abdominals and deep inhale as we hinge maybe halfway toward that left thigh. Reach out. Reach toes and fingers up, and then soles and fingers down. Woo, pull the navel in like you're zipping up tight trousers. Ah, stretch your knee toward your chest gently, and gently draw circles with your right toe in one direction, and then the other. We are almost ready. Let's stretch that left leg out. Inhale. If you feel any pain in the shoulder by extending it overhand, overhead, you can shorten the lever and soothe it. But do support your weight on that right lap as you reach forward with the nose. Lift up with the toes and the fingers. Ah, and then sole to the ground. Last seated stretch, pull the navel in. Well, it's not the last. We'll do some at the end of our 60-minute workout. Circling the ankle and then the other direction. If your hip doesn't like to hinge, you can circle that ankle on the floor. Ta-da! <laughs> All right. On a scale of 1 to 10, how do you feel right now? I'm at about a 2 or a 3. Are you ready to go for a little more on our feet? If you want to, you could do the cha-cha in your chair. But if you know you want to do it on your feet, let's take a moment and stand up and double check our area. There's nothing around that will get under our feet. We'll be behind our chair or in our chair, best posture, and we'll step slow and one, two, three, and step slow and march, two, three. I call this the cha-cha-cha pattern. Now when you step out, do come to a little mini squat. Last time slow. Last time to the left slow. How about tempo? Out and cha-cha-cha, out. Okay, you stay behind your chair, so you can use it if you need. But I'm gonna play a little coordination game. And I'm gonna come out front so you see a little bit better, but do stay where you are. Keep cha-cha-cha-ing. So you can see I'm putting my weight into both legs. Do your best. Do it the way you like. And let's play a game where we point our same side arm with our leg. It's a game. Good. Let's try four more just like that. Three. Two. Now, let's point it opposite. Opposite arm, opposite direction of the leg. I think you got it. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, one. Now point that across the body. Opposite arm, across the body. Like you're punching. Pow. One, two, three. Pow. If you don't like dance, maybe you're more of a, um, a fighter. <laughs> Engage your core. Good. Four more? Let's try four. Three. Two. One. How about we try a 
uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. I'm not used to fighting with this um, cha cha cha. Hey, I know what. Let's try four more. Four, three, two. Drop your hands for a minute or a few seconds. Good. Now, let's try some punches on the cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. I didn't quite coordinate it that time. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. Uppercuts. Cha cha. Got it? Up, up, up. Ooh, that gets my heart rate and my core involved. How about you? How are you feeling? Can you talk while you're punching? Mm. How would you rate your perceived exertion? Remember, we're shooting for a four to about a seven or eight on a scale of one to ten. I'm getting, I'm getting a little breathy, y'all. Do you think you can do a hook? Hook, hook, hook. No, that doesn't work for me. Forget it. Are you ready to do fast feet? Whatever you want with your arms. Got your chair there if you need it. Four more at tempo. Three, two, we're gonna get rid of the cha-cha. Here we go, just step, 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 step. Woo! Punch it out. How about four more? Four, three, two, woo! That was fun! I had fun. I hope you did. We're gonna keep moving. We're shooting for about 10 minutes, so. But let's catch our breath. Catch our, get centered, literally centered behind your chair. And do a little balance work while we catch our breath. If you're straight and tall like the Eiffel Tower, I want you to put your weight in your left leg, take your left hand on the chair, and lean like a leaning tower of Pisa. Just tap that right toe out there. See if you can float it and balance. We have our chair if we need it. Let's add a knee crunch. So we're working on balance, but we're strengthening those obliques and our hips and our leg strength on that standing leg. Now if you're tired or you're out of balance, grab your chair or just put your foot down. Whew. Okay. A little bit more cha-cha, if you please. If not, you've done your best. Take a rest. We'll join you in just a couple minutes. Okay. What if we take our cha-cha forward and back? Come on over here to the left side. Make sure you got a clear way to step forward with your left. Cha-cha-cha and back with your right. Right hands near the chair, right? Forward with your left. Forward and Cha, cha, cha. Back with your right. Cha, cha, cha. Slow one more time each direction. Then we're gonna go to tempo. You ready? Step left, forward. Cha, cha, right, back. Cha, cha, left, forward. Cha, cha, right, back. Do you got it? Do you got it? Do you have it? I hope so. Four more. Three, then we're gonna add some arms. Two, you can keep your right hand near your chair. Let's push with the same side arm, forward and back. Forward, back. You can keep that hand there, or if you don't need it, you can push back and down with the right hand. So we're using same side, same direction, arms and legs. Remember what we did last time? Let's do four more like this, four, Three, two, one. Now opposite. Good. So opposite arm is going in the same direction as the opposite leg. <laughs> Just keep moving. If you're not in sync with me and you're moving, you are perfect. <laughs> Woo! All right. Four more. Three, two, let's drop the arms and just do feet. Forward, oops, I messed that up. Forward, 
cha 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 back right forward left back right two more slow one more slow or a tempo now no cha cha just step on it forward right or forward left back the other way ha! Woo. step on it lower your body how many more four three two one, good. How are you doing on our 1 to 10 scale? Oh! <laughs> I think I heard my friend Jean. <laughs> and I heard from Diane, and I heard from a bunch of you. So keep, keep telling me what I need to know, and that's how are you doing. All right. Who wants to do this one more time over here on this side? I believe this is our right. We're going to take that right foot forward and then cha 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 slow and left back don't worry we're almost there <laughs> wherever there is <laughs> the goal is to get that heart rate and that breath rate up for about eight to ten minutes so we get good benefits are you ready to go to tempo here we go right forward cha 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 left back Getting our hips hinging back, keeping our head and chest up. What really helps is to spot a point on the wall across the room. Or, in this case, like the top of your screen, maybe. And whenever you're ready, get settled in your chair. Whew, I'm thirsty. If you're thirsty, and even if you're not, it's probably a good time to get a sip of water. And when you do, make sure you brace with your abdominals, step to the side, lean to the side. Mm. We're going to use our tubing or our rubber band or whatever you have handy. And we're going to do a series of good old fundamental lat pull downs and chest presses. These are compound movements that move through our shoulders and our elbows so they get more upper body muscle mass going. All right, and we're also going to have the option of adding a squat. So should you decide to squat, you want to get your hips well back in your chair. I just didn't want to step on that. So hips back in your chair, heels near the chair legs or better yet touching. Grab the handles of your tube, lay it on your lap, grab it, I don't know, maybe shoulder width. Keep that stretchy band stretching. Don't let it look like a jump rope or a letter U. And shoulders in your back pockets, reach for where the ceiling kind of meets the wall or somewhere that's comfortable between horizontal and vertical. And pull the tubing apart as you squeeze your elbows back. Maybe you could squeeze your shoulder blades together as if you're squeezing a lemon. I can just reach back and tap my elbows on the chair. I like that because it lets me know I'm using my full range of motion. Okay, if you wanted to add a squat, your hips are down while your hands are up. Hips are up while your hands are down and squeezing. Reaching those hips back, but not actually sitting down. Keeping your weight equal in right and left legs. Try not to let your knees knock. All of these things will make your form better. And with better form, you get better results. And what are the results we want with this? 
stronger upper back, biceps and rear shoulders, stronger glutes, that's our butt, and thighs. And I am about done with this. I feel like huh, a nine or so on that one to 10 scale. Whew. It's okay to work all the way to a nine or even a 10 as long as you don't have sharp, sudden shooting pains with our strength work. Not so much with our cardiovascular or stamina work. All right, now this time, come to the edge of your chair and let's set up for that chest press. This is gonna strengthen the opposite upper body muscles that that lat pull down did. So put the band behind your upper rib cage, underneath your arms. Grab the handle, keep the wrist straight. Now this isn't very hard when I straighten my elbows. So if you want to make it more challenging, grab the band a little closer to your chest. Now we're closing our shoulders in front, bending our elbows, reaching back, and opening our shoulders. Close the chest, open. Keep the neck nice and long, chin slightly tucked, but relaxed through the neck. If you want, you could pull your navel in, Squeeze those upper thigh muscles, the quadriceps. Pull the navel in and curl the spine as you reach for the toes. You could even add abs, slide back, forward, back, forward. Ooh, this is an all body exercise. Woo, I'm tapping my upper arms gently on the back of that chair. And I'm about done. This is tough for me. I hope it's just the right of tough, amount of toughness for you. Relax, release. Who wants to do a second set of lat pull downs? Did you say yes? Maybe you said no. Either way, you're right. But let's just take a minute or less. We're gonna um, lay the tube on our lap, hello then. Grab it about shoulder width, scooch back in your chair if you're gonna perform a squat or two or three. Keep the tension on the tube, reach, shoulders down, pull, squeeze those elbows back and the shoulder blades together behind you. If you wanna squat, your hips are down while your hands are up. Hips drive forward and squeeze as your hands come down. This is a big piece of work. At least it should be. And if it feels like it's too big, stay seated and do your best right there. And do your best, maybe four more breathing. Very important that you exhale on the exertion or just inhale and exhale at your own pace. I'm going to hang that up, and you're welcome to hang it up on your chair or tuck it neatly behind your chair. Step to the side, lean to the side, have another sip of water. Ooh. Okay, we've done our agility work, and that involved a lot of coordination. We played with the arm games and such. Now this, this pattern is more about balance and um, it will get our heart rate up, but I want to prove to myself it can work in the chair. You know you want to do the skate fly pattern on your feet. Take your time, be mindful, and get right in behind your chair. If you're seated, you'll have to be right at the edge of your seat so that you can cross back, cross back. Sit or stand tall, nice and slow. Good, this is our skate. Are you ready to take it to tempo? Let's try it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Time to fly, heels up, up. Pull the navel in, support your spine. Four, three, two, skate for eight. I'm gonna to transition to my feet. You stay where you're at. Four, three, two, fly, fly. Pull the navel in, lift the chest. Three, two,
to skate. You can take it low and make it big. Four more. Three, two, five. Woo! Good. Four more. Three. Are you ready to cut it down to four? Four. Three. Two. Fly. Four. Three. Two. Skate. Four. Three. Two. Fly. You can keep your hands here. You can make it a little. Four. Three. Two. Or you can bring your hands and your feet in the air and add a little skippity doo da. Down. Skate. And fly. Up. Are you ready to cut it down to twos? Let's go. Down. And up. Skate. And fly. Skate. And fly. How are you doing? Skate. And fly. Let's do one more set of twos. Ready? Cut it down to one. Skate. Fly. Skate. Fly. You can get low and high or just a little medium. We'll try four more of these. Four. Three. And then we're going to freeze. Two. One. Freeze. Balance. Got your chair if you need it. Flutter. 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 Let's freeze in the skate position. Got our chair if we need it. We can put our toe down. Flutter. Flutter, flutter, flutter. I'm tapping my toe. Can you see that? Woo! How are you doing on our 1 to 10 perceived exertion scale? I didn't hear you. Can you talk? Oh, great! You feel like keep going? Maybe, maybe you were a 5 or a 6. All right. Well, let's do it again. But this time we're going to cross back with our left leg first. Make sure you can see and touch your chair. And we'll go slow or we, so we can all get on the same side. Or just feel confident with it. Four more. Three. Two. Ready? Let's try eight at tempo. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Fly. Heels up. Got our chair if we need it. Four more. Three. Two, skate for eight. You can go low and make this really big athletic move. Four, three, two, fly. Four more. Three, two, skate for eight. Got that heart rate elevated. Four, three, two, feeling good. So right now we're building stamina. Four, three, Two, skate for four. Ah, fly for four. We're also training our brain. Fly, four, three, two, skate. Ah, how you doing? Fly. Are you ready? Let's try two skates and two fly. You're too fly. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> We're doing two of each. Skate, skate, fly. Let's do another set of twos. Ready? Cut it down to one each. Skate, fly. Whee! All right. Can you breathe? You can make it a little. Okay. Four, three, Two, are you ready? Let's try our freeze in this fly zone. Then flutter, 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 flutter. Woo! Let's try freezing in the skate pose. Got our chair. Flutter, flutter, flutter. Woo! I felt that in my legs. How you doing? Well, let's take a little bit more time. I think we've got about one to two more minutes. And we're going to do that pattern again. But this time, let's start with ones. One of each, and then build back up to eight. One, two. It's up to you. Um, we're going to cross back with that right foot first. Here we go. Down and up. Down and up. Skate, 
and fly, skate, and fly. Four more. Three, got our chair. Two, two of each. Skate for two. Woo wee! And fly for two. Skate for two. Fly for two. One more set of twos. I lied. Let's do another set of twos. <laughs> How about fours? Skate. Three, two, fly. Woo! Skate for four. Fly. Woo! Skate for eight. We're almost there. Skating our way back home. Four, three, two, fly. Eight, seven, six, five, four. We've been alternating our legs. Let's try four on the right. Three, two, one. And on the left, four, three. Working on hip strength here. Two. Do you want to try a set of eight? Eek! Eight on the right. Seven, six. Keep the head tall. Five. <laughs> Four, I forgot where I was. Three, two, wherever you are, stand or sit tall. Other side, last eight. Seven, dorsiflex that foot and get the most out of this. How many more? Four, please. Three, unless you're already there. Two, one. Wow, I felt that here. If you want to stretch your side hip musculature or those gluteus medius, just push into that hip and stretch a moment before we sit and do some more strength work with our hand weight. If you don't have a hand weight, you could, I'm not a big fan of the, you know, a big soup can because if you drop it, 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 it hurts. I've done that. <laughs> you can use a hand weight or your, um, any jug with your desired amount of fluid in it, make sure the lid's tight. So come to the front of your chair. It's time to do our squats. If you can't do a squat without pain, just get seated however you can. Do your best. As you come up, add a little power and really squeeze your hips and feel the strength there. Dig your heels in figuratively and literally. And when you're ready, sit down nice and slow, or just plop. <laughs> I'm sweating, you guys. Can you see that? I'm not ready to throw the towel in yet, though. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do a little work with our weights. Check my own notes here. I try to mix it up and keep it kind of fresh. But you notice we cycle things through. Um, we're going to do a one arm row with our weight. Take your time to get that in your right hand. And kind of over here on the right side of your chair, should you like. Let's see. Nope, just sit square. That'll transition us better, okay? And it also leaves our left hand to support on that left lap. Rigid, strong, long spine. Long arm. I want you to hinge halfway towards your right lap. Reach for your right toes. Keep your belly tight, bracing and breathing as you roll. Reach down. If you have a gallon jug and it's full, you've got a little over eight pounds. Today I've got a 32 ounce, I'm sorry, a 50 ounce jug and it's full so it's about six pounds now if you want you can look back and rotate your torso pulling that navel in but support on the left lap breathing let's do a little progression here stop at the top with your jug now do a little chicken wing and then bring it back and then reach for the toes. Do that again. As if you're pouring the jug. Makes me want to tighten the lid again. Little rotator cuff. And then, if you like, we'll finish off this progression with a shoulder press. Reach for the toes. 
reach for the shoulder, pour, and then press. How'd that feel? We're going to do the other side, but before we get there, let's do a little bit of work for our abdominals and our chest. That was mostly pulling and shoulder and bicep and upper back. So let's work a little bit on the top of the shoulder and come to the edge of your seat. Pull your navel in. Cradle that uh, weight. See how, you, how much help you need with the left hand. And we're going to widen our stance. And we're going to put that weight in our right hip pocket and push up to a shelf above our left shoulder. It could be a low shelf. It could be a medium shelf. If it feels good and nothing is sharp shooting pain, it could be the top shelf. Good, so lean back a little and do this. And then your abdominals are working. As you get up, you're sitting up, you're leaning back, sitting up. I had planned to add another leg movement, but I don't think it's gonna work for me. So I don't dare try it for you. <laughs> do your best. Okay, one more for me, and I feel like I'm running out of gas. Overhead movements are sometimes the most challenging. All right, let's go back and do that one arm row on the left. Try to keep the wrist straight. Definitely keep the back long and straight and strong, and support with that right hand. Reach the arm long. Hinge halfway towards the lap. Support here. Reach for the toes. Row. We're keeping that weight close to the out, outer edge of our body. Squeezing the elbow back and squeezing the shoulder blade. Strengthening those muscles. We can add that rotation. Pulling the navel in strengthens the obliques as we rotate gently. Pulling that navel in. Let's add on. So stop at the top with your row and pour. Don't oh, really pour. And reach for the toes up to the shoulder. Pour. Breathe the whole time. Okay, we're going to do one more of those and then stop here and we'll do our press. That was just to see how that feels because we're going to press in a diagonal. It's called a chop with our left arm this time at the edge of our seat, cradling with our right hand to help as needed. And we're going to take that jug or that weight to our left hip, rotating the ribs a bit, and then push to a, a little low shelf above our right shoulder. Maybe a medium shelf if everything feels fine. I'm sort of tracking and a high shelf if everything feels great. Tracking the bottle or the jug or the weight with my heart. Rotating to strengthen my core. Now, if you could pull your navel in, tuck your tushy under and lean back as you put that weight near your left hip pocket and sit up a bit. This becomes a whole body exercise. So we're doing a little bit of an ab sit up as we extend. You can make it little and it's still going to be a great exercise. But breathe, ideally exhaling as you push the weight up. I'm going to do about two more. big all body exercise. We are done with our hand weight. Take your time to tuck it under your chair if you would and get another sip of water. Oof. All right. I have almost drank the whole 30, 24 ounces of water. It's a good idea to sip 
about eight ounces of water before an exercise session. See if you can sip about eight ounces during, and then sip eight ounces right afterward. That's a pretty good recipe for success or hydration. All right, we're gonna slow down, but I wanted to do um, a little bit of standing balance work. Remember the Eiffel Tower and the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Let's try that again. Now, this one doesn't work so good in your chair, but if you're happy there, you're right. Just stay where you're at and follow along as best you can. If you're standing, let's come over to the right side first. Um, what we're going to do is stand tall and straight like the Eiffel Tower. Maybe keep your left hand near your chair. And then we're going to walk that right leg out and tilt like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Stretch it out. Just tap your toe on the ground over there on the right and then lift your knee up. We're trying to keep the body stable and, and still in space. And we're using these obliques as we work on balance and leg strength. We could always put our toe down or grab our chair should we need. Let's try it with a straight leg. Ooh, straight arm. Maybe just one more. I felt my body wobble there. I went a little bit more leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> okay, we'll finish off our balance work on the left. Do use the chair in your right hand. Take your strong, long, vertical stance and bring it to a diagonal, reaching that left foot out and the left arm overhead. If your arm aches, bring it in. It still works. Balancing that toe floating in the air. Draw the knee toward the elbow. Breathing but bracing with our core will help our balance. Keeping the body still. Let's try some with a long leg. Straight arm, straight leg. Maybe one more. I thought somebody pulled into my driveway. I'm going to have to make like an on air sign out there. <laughs> Woo! Hey, good news. We're almost, almost done. We're getting to our favorite part. My, one of my favorite parts. I don't know what your favorite part is is um, stretching. Actually, I stretch more when I'm doing it with you because I owe it to you to give you the best, most complete and safe and effective workout. And the best and safest and most effective time to stretch is at the end of our workout. Our muscles and our tendons and ligaments are much more flexible, but we don't want to push it too far. So walk your right, left foot back or your right to a place where you can keep the heel pasted on the ground. Ah, slow your breath here. We're stretching and we're slowing down mindfully and gradually. And this is really good for our heart and our overall physiological systems. Good, see if you can bend that rear knee and sit back into that left rear hind quarter. It's hard to see that, isn't it? So keep stretching if you've got it. Here's what it looks like. I went from a straight leg calf stretch to a bent knee, shifting my weight, keeping that heel on the ground. And this helps stretch the soleus muscle. All right, ease out of the bent knee calf stretch and ease your other leg back, the one we haven't done yet. Ooh, I'm a little tight on this one. Ah, push the heel on the ground and just lean with that straight but not locked knee. And then shift your weight and bend that knee. Sometimes I need to shorten my stride or stance a bit so I can really sit into that hind quarter and put weight into the stretch so I can feel it but it never should hurt. If you have a stretch that hurts it means don't do it. Alright, well 
we did a lot today. It's a good time to sit down, bring our heart rate down a little further and our respiratory or our breathing rate. I'm going to turn the music down as we bring our cells down and our intensity down. All right. Get to the, oh no, it'll get there soon enough. You ready for a sip of water? I'm about out. I guess that's good. That means I was keeping up with my hydration. It's never bad to have measurements, yeah? So if I keep a visual of how much water I've drank, I've drunk, I've, um, please don't rate my grammar on a scale of 1 to 10 and be closer to a 1 than a 10. <laughs> But anyway, stay hydrated. <laughs> All right, let's take a, a moment to sit near the edge of the seat. Bring your attention to our breathing. Just rest your hands in your lap and take, I don't know, maybe three mindful, slow, effortless, energizing at your own pace, inhalation, exhalation cycles, whenever you're ready. Breathe in through your nose as if you're smelling your favorite food. Mm. Exhale as if you're blowing out a little candle. And just keep going at your own pace a couple more times. Just like that, we can, with practice, get better at lowering our heart rate, lowering our breath rate, lowering our stress levels. It's not all that we need to do those things, but with practice we can do it purposefully. That's a good thing. Okay, so stretching just as we did in the beginning, but being a little bit more flexible that we've moved our bodies and got muscles and the tendons warm. Let's take our time and see if we can develop the stretch a teensy bit further. Not too much. Sporting on that left lap. Kind of stretch your tailbone back. Inhale, lengthening your body with your breath. And exhale, letting that arm just rest down on your leg wherever it is. And take another breath as you inhale. Lift your toes up towards your nose. Maybe you can reach it, maybe you can't, it's okay. And as you exhale, if you want, keeping your head above the level of your heart, just let the chin draw down. Keep the shoulders up. Supporting our weight on that lap. Protects our lower back. Sit tall, and just as we did in the beginning, pull your navel in and stretch your knee a little closer to your chest. If you like, you can let the forehead come toward the knee, lengthening the back of the knee, back of the neck gently. Uh, feels good. Okay, sitting back, maybe you can comfortably put your ankle on top of your left thigh, or maybe you're more comfortable here. Wherever you are, sit tall, let the outside of the knee drift down. We're developing it out, outside or deep in the rotator cuff of the hip stretch. I'm best suited here with the ankle on the thigh, but you know what suits you as you hinge forward and gently coax the outside of the knee down toward the floor. As you inhale, lengthen your body as your lungs expand. As you exhale, sink a little bit deeper and relax. So we did three stretches on the right. Let's try them on the other side. Sitting tall, find a comfy perch to lengthen that left leg and support on the right thigh. Supporting our weight here. 
As you exhale, just let that arm drift down closer to your thigh, to your leg. Maybe it's at your knee or your shin, your ankle. As you inhale, lift your toes up closer to your nose. And as you exhale, if you like, just let any tightness at the back of your leg go. And you can let your head dangle, but keep your shoulders and your head up above the level of your heart. As you sit tall, pull the navel in and lean back. Draw that knee closer to your chest. And circle those ankles. Did I do this on the other side? I don't think I did. <laughs> well, it felt good, so I just went with it. I hope it feels good. Letting your knee drift closer to your forehead, bowing your head a teensy if it feels good. And in this recumbent position, see how it feels to put your ankle on top of the right lap. Or, if this is better, pull your navel in and sit tall. <laughs> I told you we were done with the strength work, but we had to do one more sit up, didn't we? Letting the outside of the left knee drift down whether you're crossed at the ankles or ankle on top of your thigh. We're hinging forward and relaxing. As you breathe in through your nose, fill your abdomen first. Relax the belly muscles now. Fill your lungs from the bottom to the top. As you exhale, if you like, you can just let the chin draw closer to the collarbone. Feel a gentle stretch of the back of the neck. Hmm. Sit tall, both feet on the ground. Take a deep breath and open your fingers. Open your arms, shoulders, chest, lift to a slight arch if it feels good. And as you exhale, hands come together. Interlace your fingers in. Tuck your tailbone under. Ooh. Ah. Let's finish off with this quadricep hip flexor stretch that also stretches the side of the body. If you turn to the right, hinge slightly forward, and ease that left leg back, you're less likely to get a cramp or hurt yourself. Sitting tall, let the left knee drift down. With your breath, fill your lungs from the bottom to the top and let the crown of your head drift up. Ah, exhale, stretch through your left side. Let that elbow hinge. Take a deep belly breath here. Pat yourself on the back. for doing a good job today. Whether you felt like it was best for you today to exercise at a level two or three, or if you felt good at a seven or eight, you're the only one who knows. Take your time facing the left side, hinge forward, easing that right leg back. As you sit tall, let that Right knee drift down, lengthening the front of the hip and the thigh. Breathe up, up, up. And arch or gently stretch through the right side of your behind, leaning towards your chair. Let that elbow hinge or bend. Take a deep belly breath here. Up on the back. Okay, let's take a few more moments to just get comfy sitting back in our chair so our spine supported. I am grateful for my new seat cushion. What are you grateful for? 
You can sit however you want. Relax the shoulders down. Breathe in through your nose, ideally. And out through your mouth or your nose. If your nasal passages are stopped up, just breathe. With your breath, focus your attention on something, something you're grateful for in your life right now. And as you exhale, have an attitude of gratitude. With your in-breath, you can focus more on that one thing you're particularly thankful for. Or you can think of more things that you're grateful for. As we finish up our time together today, I just want to say I am very thankful, as I said at the top of the exercise class, for the use of this lovely camera. I'm very grateful for the beauty in nature. I'm very grateful for the local leadership that we have here in our village and some of the amenities we have. Community Access Yellow Springs, thank you. Yellow Springs Senior Center, thank you. To our local government for making the mask ordinance early on, thank you. My hat is off and my mask is on. So stay strong, stay safe, stay tuned, and see you soon. Bye now.